This week on Asphalt Anarchy, we're finally taking Stonewall for a drive. <laughs> standing on the future headquarters of Asphalt Anarchy. Um, getting a new shop built finally, 30 by 41. Uh, you see some of our cars in the background. I say are, like I own that white Mustang. I don't. Um, that's a buddy, buddy of mine, Wesley. We just finished up doing uh, some angle mods, welding the diff, basically making it a sweet Ellen Hoare replica. And then uh, we got old girl herself sitting there in the background in all her glory, bumper hanging off, flat tires and all that. Um, but now we're gonna go down, take a look at Stonewall, do a walk around, cause it's almost done. I'm calling this like a uh, like a soft reveal. And then we'll have one more big reveal once it's uh, in its final stage. So this is Stonewall. If you guys have not been following, this is my 1974 Plymouth Duster. Um, we're converting the front over to look like a 70. Eventually I'll do the rear, but we're not gonna get to that right now. It's a little expensive and uh, we're in the middle of FD season. So that's where the money goes. But I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the car. So uh, if you look inside here, basically all the carpet, headliner, everything is gone. I built a cage. Um, it's got aluminum racing seats in it. No, they don't match. No, I don't care. Um, it's got aluminum dash, which actually turned out pretty nice. Wildwood pedals. You also have to slam the door really hard to make it shut because it's old. Just get my key real quick which can double for a file and open the trunk one hour later it's also really conveniently raining on us now um so in the back here we've also obviously put a fuel cell in here from summit racing um right there with that bar in between are our shock towers this car did not come with shock towers um you can actually see the old bolts where the shocks used to be. But that bar is where the shocks bolt. This is a, a uh, coil over car all the way around now where it used to be a leaf spring and torsion bar front. It now has S14 front and rear subframes in it. So uh, that's a very, very big change that we've made. Even though the e-brake is not hooked up yet, the car does have dual calipers, drop knuckles for S14, um, which came off my old FD car. So we just basically took the whole subframe out of it and put it up into this car. It's got a, a weir performance rear end in it. Um, three, 369, I think, is what the, maybe 354. It's out of a Q45, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Um, it does have coilovers on it. Um, it's got weir performance axles. Never had any issues out of these things. I don't anticipate to anytime soon also. So up front, um, motor-wise, the hood's a pain to pop, so I'm not gonna do it right this second, but it's a 5.3 truck motor, basically completely stock. We're gonna get some cool stuff from Comp to uh, make it make a little bit more power, probably intake manifold, throttle body, camshaft, a couple things like that. But right now, it probably makes in the mid 200s, so it's really fast. Um, front suspension, we have, like I said, S14 front subframe under this car, and with that, we have put WiseFab front suspension under it. So this may be the weirdest thing you'll ever see WiseFab on, but it works really well, has the same angle as a S chassis, and it's really fun, works really well. We had a lot of fun driving on some dirt roads playing Bo and Luke Duke, and um, as promised, the car is now painted. I'm not gonna give you a full shot of it yet because we still gotta get a bunch of stickers on it and all that good stuff, but uh, it's good, and I'm pretty pleased with it. You can probably see some of it here, but um, next video will be uh, one we spend a lot of time on, one I've been envisioning for a long time and one that pays tribute to one of my favorite movies. So be looking for that here shortly. Until then, thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe and like. See you next time.